great self love. It's a powerful song. I've never even heard it, and it's it's kind of well, be new, feeling something. It's right her now. new song, but can, like, can you imagine the acoustic? Like, this is just a coffee shop, and yep. she sounds like she's in like an auditorium. No big deal. <sighs> no big deal. Pure talent. All right, it's almost 6 a.m. Here's what's happening today in L.A. Well, a community is grieving the death of a 16-year-old boy shot just moments after celebrating the end of the school year. How his loved ones are remembering the honor roll student as police search for his killer. If even half of it is true, then he's toast. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a very detailed indictment, uh, and it's very, very damning. An explosive interview with former President Trump's own Attorney General, William Barr, speaks out about the historic indictment as Trump prepares to face a judge. And it's looking like a gloomy start to the weekend. Some of us may even get some drizzle, but a warm-up is on the way. Belinda is timing it out for you in her first alert forecast. This is Today in L.A. at 6. Good morning. It is Monday, June 12th. I'm Adrian Arambulo. And I'm Lynette Romero. We're so glad you're here with us on this Monday morning, and we hope you're going to get ready for Friday when we have our coffee event. Yes. Are we ready? Ready. So ready. Maybe <laughs> Kelly Clarkson will show up. <gasps> right? That would be amazing. If you're expecting singing like that, you're going to get it from Berlin. Well, I don't know. Well, you did. You sang the last coffee event, right? The last time they invited me, we had some live music yeah. out there. Yeah. So now the president has been set. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That's the expectation for every single for coffee event. For everyone. <laughs> On you though. Okay. We'll you uh, but I'll, I'll show up. I'll sing. You guys got to be my backup singers, okay? Or I, I'll just dance. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can do. That's and it. you know that I always get the words wrong, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just we'll dance just too. Dance. We'll just dance. <laughs> Some fun will be had. So stay tuned for that information and where you can see us at the next coffee event. It's happening this week. Let's get to your forecast because it's coffee weather out there right now. Some light rain and drizzle in a few spots. And if you're expecting to see the sunshine this afternoon, uh, not likely. This afternoon is going to be cloudy. Clouds are going to struggle to clear. And as far as the temperatures go, those are going to be cool for June, below normal for this time of year. Here you're checking out satellite and radar where we have uh, a few green specks on our satellite and radar. And that's because of that light rain in the area. It's not going to add up to much, but you might need to use the windshield wipers. Temperatures right now in the 50s and 60s. Big Bear 34 degrees. And here's your forecast on this Monday. 60s at the coast, low 70s. Basin, Orange County, Valleys, Iowa. E. Milder in the deserts where the winds are going to pick up later and a chance for rain in the mountains. Coming up, I'm going to show you that warm up, but right now things are getting warm up. Uh, yeah. Warmer over on the roads. Hey, Robin. <laughs> for sure. It's definitely warming up on the road. Hey, Belen. Uh, we'll head over to the five where we had something in the road, an object that may have caused a crash or a stall here northbound five right around Washington. That is out of the way, but now you have some slow traffic. So from the 605 split all the way up to Washington, it's slow. Southbound 605 approaching the five is slow, so you have residual delays from that incident mixed in with the morning commute. Commuters heading in that direction, the traffic filling in, so it's just getting busier and busier. We're just under 25 minutes north five from the 605 heading toward the 10 and downtown LA, which is, you know, not a bad commute, but it's busy, busier now compared to the last hour. The 710 looks fantastic leaving Long Beach. The 605 looks really good from the 105 heading up to the 10. No issues there. The 10 West, that's another freeway that's filling in. I double check no major issues right now. We're under 20 minutes, but some little pockets of slow traffic from the 5 to the 405. The 210 filling in to 23 minutes out of Glendora from the 57 off to the 134. Lynette, Adrian, back to you. All right, thank you for that, Robin. 602 right now. The life of a 16 year old with a bright future was cut tragically short. The Crenshaw High School student was shot and killed over the weekend. The teen was on the honor roll. He was a star athlete. His heartbroken family, as well as his friends and classmates, are mourning his loss. NBC4's Lauren Coronado live outside Crenshaw High School with more on the 16-year-old and the heartbreaking plea from his family and friends to catch the shooter. Lauren, good morning. Adrian Lynette, good morning. Truly a devastating loss, and this teen left such an impact on the community. I want to show you an example of that. We're outside of Crenshaw High School where the teen attended school, and you can see all of those candles glowing in the distance, balloons as well, and messages left. Now our team spoke with his father. Take a listen. That was my first born. And the 16 years I had him, it was wonderful. 
16-year-old Quincy